Hello friends, welcome to LMS Solution Research Support. In this video, we are going to explore a new AI template which, which is added in our LMS AI Research Support. So let us go on to today's video and explore the templates. Go on to Google, type LMS Solution Research Support. It will lead to our website here. So you can see here, this is our AI chatbot option. In this, you can see different templates available, LMS AI templates. So here you can see summarizer, grammar corrector, paraphrasing, literature review, explain the table, generating MATLAB code, chatbot, blog article, detailed literature review. Next important option we have added now is the chat with the paper option. So let us explore that option. So just to click on chat with paper, it leads to the page here. Here what you have to do is you have to copy and paste your content. So please add the paper text. So in order to make a better analysis of your paper, so there are many other A tools will be there by uploading your PDF, but it, it won't give the better results for you. Even it has many possible questions uh, in that particular PDF. So it, it won't give the perfect answers you have expected. So in order to make a comprehensive analysis of the particular paper, so you can use this option called a chat with paper. So in order to do so, you can copy and paste the section wise content thereby you can get a clear idea about the content. So in this video I am going to explain how you can copy and paste the particular content and also what are the important prompts to be asked in every section of your paper. So in order to explore that first to go on to some random paper. So here you can see this is a paper I have chosen. So here you can see this is the paper section wise it is arranged. So first what I am going to do is I am going to analyze the abstract first. So in order to make sure that I am going to copy the abstract alone. So copy the abstract and paste in this window. Click submit text of the paper. So after that you will be having a box here. So in this you can ask questions with respect to paper. So what is the possible questions can be asked in the particular abstract session. So you want to summarize the abstract or you want the uh, abstract to be written in just two or five points or else you can get some key points of the abstract. So what I am going to ask in the particular abstract session is that I am going to ask list the key points from the abstract. So it will and then just click on ask question. So it will take several seconds to generate. So here you can get the key key points from the abstract alone. Thereby you can get a better idea about the abstract. So here come our important points in the particular uh, abstract. So here you can see some of the important points generated from the abstract. So here probably around 9 to 10 points are that if you want uh, only 5 points you can make clear in this prompt to your giving. So list, list some 5 important key points in the abstract alone. So it will generate only 5 important key points in the abstract. This is all about abstract. Next what I am going to do is I am going to copy and paste the introduction part of this paper. So copy the introduction part of this paper. So here this ends the introduction part copy this introduction part and go on to our a tool so before copy and paste so just to go refresh the page so after that you can copy the introduction part you have paste the introduction part you have copied and then click on submit text of the paper what is the prompt i am going to ask for a better analysis of the introduction part is that so you can ask for the summary of the literature review. So pro probably many of the introduction part of your research paper comprises of literature review alone. So or else you can ask the problem statement with the particular paper or else you can ask research that is research gap in that particular paper. So what I am going to ask is explain the problem statement from the above content. So here I am going to ask the problem statement. So click on ask question. So it will generate problem statement from the introduction part you have copied. Here our problem statement is generated. You can see here the problem statement from the above content is that there is need for alternate sources of energy generation due to widening gap between electricity supply and demand as well as the decline of fossil fuels. 
distributed generation particularly through pv systems has gained imp importance as way to generate electricity in close proximity to load centers and reduce transmission losses this is how our problem statement is generated so in introduction part of your research paper so you can copy and paste your reference papers introduction and you can get a better problem statement using this chatbot so next thing what i am going to do is i am going to copy the uh, next session that is uh, the explanation of a proposed system so here it is explained about some solar cell architecture so i am going to copy and paste all the things that is second that is third part after introduction so here so before copy and paste every section of your refer, uh, re reference papers just to click on refresh our tool so after that you can copy the third section here so I am going to click submit the paper. So here you can see we have copied the third section. So after that we can ask some possible question. So we can ask which is the best method adopted for this work. So probably the third section of your paper always discusses different proposed methods and proposed topologies. So you can ask which is the be best method or you can ask the working of the best method. So here I have asked which is the best method adapted for this work. So here you can see click on ask questions. So here comes our answer. The best method adapted for achieving highly efficient solar cells depends on various factors such as cost, manufacturing process and specific requirements. However, based on the information provided in the text, some of the promising methods for achieving high efficient solar cells include. So these are the different methods you can use. So for every method has its own significant uh, advantages. So you can make use of this option to get a better understanding about the third section. So moving on to our fourth, fourth section. So I am going to copy this uh, integration methods and the techniques for better efficiency. So I am going to copy the next section of the paper. Here you can see the third section of this paper discuss that is the fourth section of this paper discusses about the integration methods and the techniques for better efficiency. So we can ask some questions related with the better efficiency. So for example, I am going to ask which method give better efficiency. So here our answer is generated. You can see the question asked which method give better efficiency. So it is recommended to evaluate these methods based on specific project requirement, consult with experts in the field to determine the most suitable operators for be better efficiency. See uh, here the answer generated will be. So here you can see some of the methods mentioned in the text can potentially improve efficiency include. So the methodologies where you can get better efficiency can be listed here. So integrating PV modules into the building envelope can help maximize the usage of space and reduced cost. So like that every method is uh, explained here. So there is no data support particular this method is uh, greater than this method like the efficiency wise comparison is not available in this particular paper just it's a possible methods where you can make your efficiency more better only is given so like that it will generate answers so which is the potentially improve efficiency how to potentially improve efficiency the, uh, what are the methods available in that particular section will be uh, answered here so you can make use of this. So the next section what we are going to analyze is the discussion session. So in this discuss discussion session you can see that so there are various methods uh, in this paper is addressed. So you can copy and paste discussion session. So again go to our chat with paper option. So you can refresh again. Copy and paste the next session of the paper. In the next section what I am going to ask is that summarize the above section 
in 10 points so like that i am going to give a prompt so all the all the next section will be summarized into 10 points so let us see how it will works out here you can see that our answer is generated so the next section of the research paper is summarized into 10 important points here you can see that so we have asked for 10 important points it is summarized into 10 important points so like that you can summarize the biggest section of your research paper uh, into a smaller so bits and pieces using this chat with pa uh, paper option so the next thing is that what i am going to do is that i am going to copy and paste the conclusion part of the paper so here i am going to copy and paste the conclusion part so here you can see this is the conclusion so what are the possible question can be asked in the conclusion part of your research paper is that so you can ask for a summarize uh, option so we as we have already did this so you can uh, you can ask for future scope or further improvements of that particular paper so that by it will be very easy for you to make that limitations that is the further improvements uh, to be taken in an account and you can use then that in your research paper that you are going to prepare so what i am going to do is i am going to copy the paste the again the conclusion <coughs> and submit the text after that you can ask what are the possible further improvements from the paper from the above content so, click on ask questions so here our answer is generated you can see here so possible further improvements you are here you can see include more research uh, recent research and developments exploring emerging technologies providing more practical implementation strategies addressing cost considerations include case studies and real world examples considering environmental and sustainability aspects by incorporating all these <coughs> improvements the paper would have provided even more comprehensive and practical resource for readers researchers and engineers so here you can get a better idea what are the further improvements can be developed from that conclusion of a paper so this is how you can analyze a paper very better uh, bits and pieces uh, in very better using this chat with paper option so normally we use it to upload a paper so here you can get only common results so by making it as a section wise you can get a better idea about the paper you are going to analyze and also you can uh, make a note of that answers for the particular paper it will be very helpful for you to make a better literature review so hope this uh, chat with paper a template will be very helpful for you so moving on to our plans and pricing options so here you can see you can access our LMS AA free plan so here there are two templates you can access for free for seven days so unlimited access for summarizer and grammar character so LMS AA monthly plan just 99 for unlimited access for all our templates we will use it to update update templates monthly every month so especially for research and also you can see this is LMS quarterly plan just 199 you can have unlimited access for 90 days for all templates and then LMS AA offerly plan so rupees 499 and you can un have unlimited access for 180 days this is triple nine LMS AA yearly plan so you have unlimited access for 365 days so hope this new AA template will be very helpful for you this section wise analysis of your reference paper will be a, will give a better idea about the literature review you are doing and also you can address what are the important future improvements can be done with your particular work so hope this video will be very helpful for you thank you for watching our videos have a nice day thank you